studying so I can read a ton of books. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! Stay back! Payback working out for you. Oh, 
better than expected. I'll show you what I can do. <laughs> I thought you didn't want to get rough. My turn. We'll keep no, it together. But this is self defense. Let's Too bright? This. Get him! Ain't dead yet. Take the lead. I'll take care of him. Here! That's it! You jittery? <laughs> It's your turn. Take it over. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> Call it lightning. Deal with that. So it's my turn? How shocking. My turn. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. needed on standby for a job as something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask. But would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. 
That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Stay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Might as well check out Wall Market while I'm down here. I tried that new tug about fabric off my knees. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Oh. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> nothing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. 
So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. I'll show you what I can do. Why don't you lead the way? Don't overdo it. Here goes. Right? Guess I gotta. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. You 
You did it! Yeah. Uh. Hmm? All right, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Hmm. Stop. Did we wake it up? It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Take over for me. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn. Get him. How shocking! You've got this. My turn. Oh, that's weird. There used to be a way through here. Bring it. Let's do this. Burn. This one's Deal for you. That. I'll show you what I can do. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you Moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? Huh? Uh... <sighs> <sighs> oh no, look! Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 
Well then, I'm gonna head down. a second. Gotcha. Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just... It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. Yeah! <laughs> Compromise. I don't get it. Ah. 
How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, uh, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. Due <laughs> <laughs> recompense, due recompense, due do recompense? Uh, no, shit, for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 compensatory damages. Um, so I damages recompense, I can't <laughs> <enforce that. laughs> I think we've heard enough. Soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it?
Gotcha. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it! 
it right there, lovebirds. You want to pass through our territory, then you gotta pay the toll. We made it. Smell the fresh air. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Positive light, how I keep my composure through internal fights when addressing the mic through these dark nights. Where the Bruce Wayne, what a trick be. Here's some truth that I'll let free. Bruce Banner of rap, if you ask me.